Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Katya, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, thank you. Nice, happy to hear that. I am glad to hear that. We are going to give everyone a few minutes to join. Let's see who else is going to join us today for our final class, our last class of the module. You did it to the last day. So let's wait a few minutes for them. Alrighty, I see Mirna is joining. I see Anna, we are four people right now. We're gonna wait until 8.05 approximately. And then we will start with whoever is here. Hello, hello. Good evening. I see we are five people now. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Nice. Nice. I have finished my dinner. Yay, that's good. Did you have a good dinner? Yes. Yes, it was good. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. I haven't had dinner yet. I'll have dinner later after I'm done with class. So late. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I just don't like eating in a rush. I prefer to eat, you know, relaxed. With time. Yeah, with enough time. I don't like to be I rushing. Eat, I can eat too late because uh, I have reflujo. Oh, yeah, that's delicate. Yes, so I have to eat uh, uh, early, but uh, today was too late for me because I have to have dinner before 7, 7 o'clock in, in at night. Yeah, so, have yeah, so you have, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, no, uh, 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 just, just that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, that sounds like it. you have to, so you have dinner around 6, 6.30? Yes. Oh, yeah. To have okay. enough time to, to my stomach, uh, digest it, I don't know how to say it to digest to digest the, the food yeah enough time before you go to sleep right because i guess if you go to sleep right after eating it's very bad it's terrible yeah painful yes that's not good yeah so i'm glad you had dinner that's good but it happens when you when 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 we are young we don't have an a schedule to eat and yeah. then, then it happened with, with the, uh, the system, with digestive system. I don't know, it's the same, it's, it's the, the way to say. Yeah, that's right, digestive system. And uh, uh, when you get older. Yeah, so because we don't have like good, good timing to eat, then when we get older, we get sick, right? When we're young, it doesn't feel like that, but it'll show up later. Yes. It will show up later in the form of heartburn or gastritis, any of that. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. We should all be eating early. Yeah, early at night, that's super true. Hello, everyone that just joined. Good evening. How is everyone? Hope you are good all evening, doing. Teacher. Hi, good evening. Hope you are all doing good. You have made it to your last day of this module. So congratulations to you. That's awesome. You have finished yet another module. So that is awesome. We have been waiting for you. We were waiting to see how many people were gonna be joining today. This is our final class. So, um, did you will... have a question? 
Yes. I try to, to get the certificate from the platform and from this level, but this the, the certificate said uh, level one. Oh, I see. I think that happened to Katya as well, right? So what I would advise you to do, because I don't really um, program those, uh, those um, diplomas and any of that, but what I am advising you to do, para las personas que les pasó eso, les pasé el número de Flor, que es la coordinadora para este tipo de cosas. Let me put her phone number here in the chat. Les voy a poner el número de teléfono de ella en el chat. 72-78-7886. And this is Flor. This is the person that can help you with anything related to the certificate, to the diploma, right? Because um, I don't really have any way to change it. I don't have like that, that, that access, no lo puedo cambiar, no lo puedo modificar, pero they might be able to help you o decirles cuando va a estar disponible el correcto, et cetera. Okay, thank you. Bueno, perfect. All righty. Okay, all right. Um, if you need her phone number via WhatsApp, also send me a text and I'll send it over to WhatsApp. Uh, so today I see more people just joined. We have more people now. So good evening, everyone that just joined. Welcome, thank you so much for joining our final class. This is our last class of this module. Uh, and then you will go into pre-advanced three, which is super great. Your last module before the advanced level. Super exciting. You made it, you did it. So gold star for you on that. Today, we are going to be reviewing the final test, the final assessment. Um, I know that we didn't finish the reading yesterday. We had some left off, but just out of, uh, I know that we have been waiting to solve this test. So we're just going to review the test, um, complete the exercises. Let me share another screen. Let me share the screen. Okay. New share. Here we go. So as you can see, can you see the platform? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So as you can see, for our final exam, final test, final assessment, however you want to call it. We only have four sections, one listening, one, um, two exercise kind of uh, sections, and then one reading exercise. And that is going to be all for our, our final test. So I would like for us to go over um, the test. And if we have some time at the end of, the, of this final class, then we will go ahead and finish on the reading. Um, is that okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. All right, cool, 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 cool. All righty, so it is eight with almost, almost 10 minutes. So I think that it is safe for us to start reviewing the test with the 12 people that we have, 11, without considering me. So that's 11 people that we have today. And I think we can go ahead and get started, right? Some of you may have already finished all of the exercises. Congratulations to you. If you're just waiting on your certificate, you did it, you made it. Um, and thank you for being here and practicing on the last day. That is super important. And one of the most key elements to improving your English. Um, if you have not, however, if this is the first time that you are seeing the final test, we are going to be so, um, reviewing it, solving it, and explaining why the answers are the correct ones, right? And we will be solving any questions that you might have. 
Um, so if you have any question on any specific section, please uh, go ahead and ask those questions when we get to that question or that section. Um, alrighty. So without any further ado, we will go ahead and get started with our final exam. And do that by starting on the listening section. So you know the drill, you know how this goes. We have four questions. We will listen to the conversation. Well, we will listen to the audio and we will listen to suggestions. And we will choose the suggestion that matches uh, the best, matches the listening. So let's go ahead and start listening. We will listen to it once and then we will listen again if you need it. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes, isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too, but a lot of it happened before I was born back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel and Four. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No. Really? Yes. And those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything. Like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. All righty. So we heard all of the conversations. Do you need to listen to it again or do you want to start answering them? I, I cut. You can answer. Cool. All right. Let's start reviewing the questions then and the answers. So, who wants to read number one? Can I? Go ahead. Sandy wants to meet new people. Franz suggests joining a new fitness center. What does everyone think? Joining a new fitness center? Is that right? The second one. Yes. 
All righty. So Sandy suggests meet new people. I'm um, sorry, Sandy wants to meet new people and Frank suggests joining a new fitness center. Cool. Who wants to read number two? Me. Go Sandy ahead. can get a recommendation for a personal trainer from Frank's cousin Rachel. From Frank's cousin Rachel. Is that right? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Cool. I agree. Nice. You agree. That's great. Let's review number three. Who wants to read? Me. Go ahead. Yeri thinks that the space trial is finished for now. Is finished for now? Yes, we know. What do you think? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All righty. Jerry thinks that space travel is finished for now. Bummer. All right. Finally, number four, Pam thinks. Which one would it be? People will build home on the moon. Alrighty, does everyone join? People will build homes on the moon? Yes. Cool. All right, let's review. And you are right. This is great. Does anyone have any questions with this exercise? No. No. Okay, perfect. Okay. If there are no questions with this section, we can go ahead and move on to our correct the mistake section. Whoops. We started making this. You remember that some people had some had an issue with that one. I wanna ah come on. Okay. I want us to solve it. I was fixing the error. Okay. I was fixing the mistake. So let me. Clear this. I want us to have the option to complete it. All right, here we go. I'll share it again. Okay, here we go. Letter B, we are going to find the mistake in each section, este es el ejercicio con el que nos daba problemas. La primera, pero it's been fixed. Right? So, we need to type in the complete new sentence. Right? So, for this one, tenemos la explanation aquí. Eh, después de que se corrigió este ejercicio, solo para aquellas personas que pues tenían ese problema, Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Porque esto lo estuvimos platicando en el chat y todo. So, we will do this one as we know it. Where can I get? Tendría que ser where I can get. Right? Does everyone agree? Is, there, is this right? Yes, yes teacher. Nice. All right. What about this one? Number two. Who wants to tell me? how number two should be. Can I? Yes. You can have your car fixed at, at an auto repair shop. Fixed, is that right? What does everyone think? That's right. You can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. And this is because we are using uh, the verb in the infinite, I'm sorry, in the past participle, right? So you can have your car fixed. Fixed is the past participle of fix. It's also the past, but we know that when we are um, providing these types of suggestions, we are going to use the past participle. All righty. What about the next one? Who wants to read number three? Sure, in my case, I have problem with number three and four. With number three and four, okay. 
So yeah. Yeah, too. I don't know about the correct answer. All right, so let's review. Do you know where Eliza can have her driver's license renew? Is this verb correct? Renew with ED? Yeah, that's right. So I, the I task... write in, in that way and it's, it's incorrect. Let's try. It's by, the, it's by the apostrophe, maybe because it happens to me. It could be. Es posible que eso sea. Let's review. Do you know where Eliza can have her drivers? Yep. Sí, es el apóstrofe, seguro. Copiamos este que está aquí, si les da ese problema. Porque estoy viendo que el que yo estoy poniendo, que es el que tendríamos que usar, me sale distinto al que está en la platform. So let's try with this one, driver's license renewed. Y nos va a dejar mandarlo hasta que ya seleccionemos todos. Y vamos a revisar desde ahí. Is that okay? Uh, but... So les, lo, lo que les decía es que vamos a no nos deja Revisar si está bien hasta que completemos todo. Entonces vamos a completar todo y vamos a revisar later. ¿Está bien? Ok. Ok. All right. That's what I was trying to tell. So let's try to do number four. You can get your leather boots shines. Shines. Is that the correct verb that we have to use? Shine with ED? With ED, that's right. But I I have problem with that, that one too. Veamos I'm writing si es, that way. Vamos a ver si es lo del apóstol. Puede que sea la misma situación. So let's try. Nuevamente, para poder verificar si es eso, tenemos que completar todo. Entonces, completemos y we will check. All right, so let's complete part two. So choose the correct three word phrasal verb. Remember phrasal verbs? So we can choose from looking forward to, coming up with, and getting along with. Thank you for a great solution to my problem. What's the right one? Thank you for, thank you for coming up with a great solution to my problem. All right. Coming up means to create, right? Or to provide. So providing a great solution, creating a great solution, coming up, right? Inventing. Number two, Sam had to get a science tutor. He couldn't put up with, keep up with, or take care of the other students. Get up with. Get up with. Put up. Put up or keep up? I keep rather up. keep up. Sam had to get science to He couldn't. All right. Keep so up. let's test. Put up and we'll see what we get. Some people have put up, some people have keep up, por lo que escucho. So We'll try with that one and we'll see how we do. Y después vamos a explicar the answer. So Michelle has put down on, come up with, or broken up with sugar and fat. Put down, put down on. on. Okay, put down on. Let's review. Entonces sí, veamos, para three and four probablemente es el símbolo del apóstrofe. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer, si, porque ustedes lo tienen correcto, es que simplemente cuando vayan a responder, van a copiar este símbolo que está aquí donde drivers, lo copian y para usarlo, lo pegan para que les dé la respuesta correcta. Pero su forma de pensarlo está correcto. So we need to do renewed with ed and shined with ED. All right, and then part two, 
Number two. In that case, we would use keep up with. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba keep up with? Who can tell me why we need to use keep up and not put up? All right. So when we say keep up, we're talking about going at the same rhythm, going at the same pace, going at the same speed than the other students. You could also say that if you're running a, ma a marathon, um, you can't keep up with the athletes porque van demasiado rap rápido, right? So you can't keep up. They're doing, they're going too fast. Uh, you just can't go at the same speed. When we say put up with, estamos hablando de aguantar, right? So this person is making me angry. I can't put up with that right now. No puedo estarme aguantando eso ahorita. But keeping up makes sense porque he couldn't, he had to get a, a tutor. He couldn't keep up in chemistry class. No podía llevar el ritmo. Yes. Is that better? Se comprende? Yes. Yeah. All righty. Any questions so far with this exercise? Or do we go to section C? Alrighty, let's go to section C then. So for section C, we have 10 exercises. No, nine exercises, I'm sorry. More, no, let's see, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 exercises that we're gonna be completing three parts. Let's go. Who wants to help me read the first introduction, uh, the first instructions. Can I? Go ahead. Okay, part one. We can hear you. I think you went mute. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no worries, mind. no worries. Okay, part one. Instructions, complete the suggestion for possible solutions. Pages? A smartphone is dead, and she can figure out how to get it, how to get it to work again. You only need to type the correct form of the verbs given in brackets, infinitive or gerund. Thank you, infinitive or gerund. So all we need to do is write it in the correct form of the verb. So Paige's smartphone is dead and she can figure out how to get it to work. We need to type the suggestions, right? Just the verbs. So number one, it might be a good idea to check out. To check out. To or check, check out. out. Nice. To check out. To check out a website discussion group. Number two. One thing she could do is to try. To try. Great. One thing she could do is to try to recharge the battery. For this one, tenemos dos opciones. Para esta, tenemos dos opciones que estarían correctas. We can say to try, or we can also say just try. One thing she could do is try to recharge the battery. Both would be correct. Ambas estarían correctas. And finally, number three. What about... Uh, with gerund or infinitive? Yes, so uh, lo que sucede con... Yes, with gerund and infinitive, are we talking about number two or number three? Number two. two. Ah, okay. So para este tenemos eh, 
una excepción en donde podemos decir with infinitive to try, and we can also use the same infinitive, but without the to. So we can say, one thing oh. she could do is try to recharge the battery. Um, porque es una expresión que van a escuchar seguido. Uh, hey, you could try to, y usamos el to con el siguiente verbo, right? So this usually happens, usualmente sucede cuando ocupamos try, not always, pero para que ustedes sepan que se puede ocupar así también. Usualmente ah, con okay. ese verbo, con try. Ok, I understand. No. Yes. So, number three. What about bring it to Bringing. a cell phone return? Bringing. Bringing. Agree? Do you agree? Yes. Alrighty. Part two. Who wants to read the instructions? <clears throat> Me. Go ahead. Complete, complete the sentences with ago, during, or from, in, over, since, or to. Just type the word. No capital letters or periods are needed. Thank you so much. So all we have to do is to type in the word, right? So this is about time. And we are going to choose the word that fits the most. So Vincent van Gogh, do, doing number one, Vincent van Gogh died in, nine, eight, uh, eight, uh, I'm sorry, in 1890, more than 100 years. Ago. That is right. More than 100 years ago. Hace más de 100 años. Number two. Disco was popular uh, was a popular form of music from 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 1978. From, right? I was gonna. I, didn't, I don't know what I was I'm gonna type it all, but whatever. From 1978 to 1980. Number three, spinning was a popular type of exercise. Going. Alrighty. What other possible answer do we have? ¿Qué otra respuesta podríamos ocupar para esta parte de during? We have two. In. 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 That's right. So we can say in the 2000s or during the 2000s. Both are correct. Finally, number four. People have been using home computers since. 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 Have been right since the 1980s. Alrighty. We have reached part three. Who wants to read the instructions? Me. Go ahead. Complete the predictions with will. The future continues or the future perfect. Just tie the verb in its correct tense. Don't tie the entire sentence. Thank you so much. So that's right. We will be predicting the future with will, the future continuous or future perfect. And all we need to do is replace the verb, right? With the one in the correct tense, in the future tense, or with will, right? So let's do number one. Sophisticated robots will replace. Will replace. Will yes. replace many factory workers in the near future. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes. All right. Number two, tablet computers will be used. Will be used will be used in every home. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. You won't need it. I have problem with that. I wrote that, that in, in it's, it's incorrect. Won't need. Sí. Eso and I write and will not need it is correct too. 
Sí, eso estaba notando que estaban hablando en el chat. Este supuestamente, eso les iba a decir, este supuestamente ya debería de estar corregido. Así que ahorita vamos a verificar. No, no, Sí, ya está. ¿Mm? Es que lo corrigieron justo hace un ratito. Ah. So it should be fixed right now. All right. So that should be working for you now. Ya debería de estarles funcionando. Yes. Nice. It's correct. I write. I yep, five afternoon and that will that was fixed. Okay. Good. Good to know that it's working. All right. Number four. We've had the same problem. So this way should yes. be correct as well. Later in this century, people. <laughs> won't believe him. I don't won't know. Believe him or won't leave. I think I, I won't mean, leave, but it's incorrect in my. For me, it's not, it's not a. It's not correct that the third one. Eh, y estamos usando este apóstrofe o este, porque sucede que a veces queremos usar el acento y el acento no es el apóstrofe. Mm, I don't know, because I'm the phone. Maybe it's that. Sí. Um. Si no, se los, voy, se los puedo poner en el chat y pueden intentar copiarlo también. Okay. There you go. So let's try with this one. Let's review. All right. So what other options do we have? Won't be leaving? Yes, I do. Let's try. Won't be leaving. There we go. That is right. Later in this century, people won't be leaving or will not be leaving in houses that are heated with oil. So later in this century, right? For a period of time, starting somewhere, people won't be leaving anymore. And finally, within 50 years, scientists will have discovered We'll have discovered. Do you agree? Yes or no? What do you think? We'll have discovered. Yeah. Alrighty. And you are correct. Right. Any questions so far with this exercises? We had 12 exercises. Y ya pues debería estar eh, corregido la situación del apóstrofe for three and four. And is there a other verb like try? Mm, let me think, let's see. One thing she could do is try, one thing she could do is find. Sucede bastante con verbos que son como, I don't want to say auxiliares porque no lo son, pero que son very connectors, right? So you are connecting the verb to another one. Por ejemplo, podríamos decir, one thing she could do is find another entrance, right? One thing she could do is find another battery. Usualmente también lo que sucede cuando estamos usando el infinitive form es que llegamos a hacer una reduction the eh, the, prepos uh, the prepositions, right? So for example, like two. So let's see. One thing she could do is walk home earlier. One thing she could do is go to the gym. Sí, casi todos los que seamos así, les podemos quitar el to, una situación en el que siempre estamos diciéndolo en infinitivo, puede que no lleve el to, 
tú, de que lo lleve. <coughs> Según la gramática, vamos a agregar el to, pero siempre podemos hacer la reducción. If necessary. In a very casual setting. Good question. Let's see the chat. All right, cool. You're welcome. Alrighty. Now we have our reading section. Let's go ahead and open up our image. And we will go ahead and get started by reading this posters and then we will come back to the platform and answer this true or false questions. We only have six questions. So let's go ahead and start reading. Who wants to help me read this first section? Um, me. Go ahead. The Blackster 620. The Blackster 620 is a new cell phone that will be able to do almost everything. I use it once. It has. Thank you so much. Who wants to read the next one? Can I? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Instance. Is instant messaging available in camera games and the ability to send and receive digital files? Of course, you can also use it to make phone calls. Thank you so much. And finally, our last paragraph, who wants to read it? Who wants to read this section? Can I? Yes. Okay. It's perfect for people who will be typing a lot of text messages. It has a tiny keyboard that falls out when you need it. Cutting edge technology. Cutting edge technology, that's right, thank you. Let's do the next one. Who wants to read the next one? Hey, DJ. Yeah. Go ahead. Going camping. Do you plan to take your cell phone, laptop, MP3 player, or any other electronic device? Thank you so much. All right. Who can help me read this next, next section here? Until, until power. Here's just the thing you'll need, the solar feed. It's a tiny solar panel that you can take with you anywhere. It weighs less than a phone, but it generates plenty of power. Plenty Thank you. of power. Thank you so much, Bunny. Yes, it generates plenty of power, a lot of power. And remember, this word is pronounced tiny. It's a tiny solar panel, very small. All right. And who wants to do the final section here? Just place it. Who wants to finish the poster? Starting and just place it. Me too. Go ahead. Um, just place in, just play it in the sun and plug in your phone, computer, or other device. What a technology, technology technological achievement. That's right, technological achievement. Just place it in the sun and plug in your phone. Thank you so much, Ivania. Great. 
who wants to read this piece here for the third poster. Can I, Edna? Yes. Um, one of the latest and coolest invention, the ice cream is for you. Thank you so much, Roxana. The latest and coolest invention, the ice cream. What is that about? Let's read. Who wants to read this one until three feet away? May I? Yes. It looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses, but when you look through the lens, you see a small screen about three feet away. Thank you so much, Marce. That's right. So it looks like a pair of fashionable. This word comes from fashion, right? So fashionable. Excellent. And our final section, who can read? The rest. Who wants this help? Who wants to help us read the rest of the poster? Me. Go ahead. You can watch movies and download your favorite music videos. Perfect for traveling in style. Thank you, Miss. Perfect for traveling in style. Great. Perfect. So we have read the um. Sorry, we have read the three posters. We are done with that. We read about the Blaster 620, about the solar feed and the ice cream, right? So we can go back to the platform and review our uh, questions. We have six questions. So number one, the Blaster has a fold out keyboard for easy typing. Is that true or false? True. It's true. Nice. All right, number two. The blaster won't be able to do things like instant messaging. True or false? False. False. It will be able, right? It can do instant messaging. It says it right here. A lot of text messages. Okay. The solar feed must be plugged into an electrical socket. True or false? False. False, right? We see here that it says that it is a tiny solar panel that you can take anywhere. So you don't need to plug it. Okay. The solar feed can keep your MP3 batteries recharged in the wilderness, true or false? True. That's true, right? Here it says. It can keep your MP3 player, your cell phone, your laptop, any other electronic device charged. Okay, the ice cream. The ice cream is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. True or false? False. False, right? It is much more than that. It has a lot of things. You can see small screen, three feet away. You can watch your favorite videos while wearing the ice cream. Is that true? Yes, yes true. It's true. true, right? You can watch movies and download your favorite music videos. There we go. You're right. Anyone have any questions with this, um, this exercises? Vocabulary, any words, an exercise? Where is plug? Plug. So you have the um, electricity socket. You have the socket where you plug in your cable or your charger. You have to plug it into the wall for it to charge. So it's where you put your cell phone charger or your computer charger to get electricity. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Perfect. That's great. 
So that's a super good exercise that you guys can do. When someone asks you about a word, you explain what it does or what it is. Instead of translating it, en lugar de decirlo en español, try to explain what it is in English or what it does. And that will force you a little bit to use the words that you do know about a word that you maybe don't know. Alrighty. So this was the final exercise for the final test. With this, you will have finished your platform. You should be ready to just uh, get your certificate. Para quienes no se habían unido aún, if you're experiencing any issues with the certificate, um, I'm sorry. If you're experiencing any issues with the certificate, um, se pueden comunicar a este número. Se los voy a poner nuevamente en el chat if you need it. En el caso que les dé información incorrecta, etc. Y ellos les van a indicar if you have to wait or if you have to um, do anything, right? Additional. Igualmente, me parece que nos estuvieron comunicando que ya eh, pueden, si no lo han hecho aún, enviar sus documentos o solicitar que envíen sus documentos to get, um, to get, uh, to get enrolled in the, next, uh, in the next module, que ya estarían pasando ustedes al third module, right? So pre-advanced the third. So that's awesome. Um, and you can get that done if you need it. But with this, you should be able to be finished with this platform. So congratulations. You did it. All right. And as promised. Mm. See? Teacher. Yes. I have a doubt. I yes. just was uh, reading the expression uh, fold out. So right. uh, I'd like to know what's the difference between fall out and fall and unfold, because I just have heard that two words fall and unfold, but never ever, I uh, but I've never heard a, a fall out. Could you explain it, please? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for asking. That's a super great question. So folding, right? Comprendemos que folding means to bend. So you have a phone, it folds in or folds out. It bends in or bends out. ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, que si tenemos algo que se dobla, se puede doblar hacia adentro o hacia afuera, right? So in this case, we're talking about a cell phone. If we have a cell phone, comprendemos que fold out, que se abre o se, um, o se gira hacia afuera porque podemos ver la pantalla when it folds out. If it folds in, folds out. If it folds in, es cuando lo cerramos, right? Se dobla, pero hacia adentro. So it folds in. Luego, ¿cuál era el otro término that you mentioned about folding? Uh, fold and unfold. Nice. Okay. And then fold and unfold. Si vemos que folding, entonces es like bending, right? Unfolding is que se desdobla, right? Se vuelve a su lugar. En el caso de los teléfonos que estamos hablando, it folds in or fold, folds out, se dobla y se desdobla, pero Folds in and out significa que está diseñado para estar así, right? En cambio, cuando podemos hablar del papel, por ejemplo, if we're talking about a piece of paper, you can fold a piece of paper. Podemos doblar ese pedazo de papel, right? And unfold it, quitarle ese doblez. So, hacerlo lisito de nuevo. So, fold in and fold out para cosas que se van a hacer para un lado, se van a girar o se van a doblar para un lado para el otro. Y fold y unfold para cosas que usualmente son rectas y se pueden doblar o desdoblar. Ok, thank you. Nice. 
and teacher. Yes. I was watching the certificate and I see that it's written uh, the model like model number one and not for number two. Yes, eso era lo que les estaba diciendo y es el número que les puse en el chat. If you happen to have any issues with your certificate, please reach out to her. She will be able to help you. Because I don't have, um, I'm not able to modify the certificates. I am not the one who, who does that. So if you happen to have any problems with your certificate, uh, information is not right or anything like that, you can contact her. This is the number in the chat. If you need it over WhatsApp, I can also go ahead and send it. Just let me know. Cool. All right. Any other questions that you might have? Vocabulary, sobre cualquier cosa, en realidad. Any questions that you might have? about anything in the module, future questions, um, anything about English that you want to know. I also wanted to check, porque ayer no les pregunté, I wanted to check with you since we started doing the reading in the last section, let's just use the last uh, minutes that we have. No les pregunté if you, I know that we didn't finish it, right? But did you find any words in this reading, encontraron alguna palabra in este reading that you don't know how it's pronounced or you don't know what it means, the pronunciación or meaning that you don't know? Alrighty. So if everything's clear, that is super great. Uh, let's see, I see in the chat, weapons, all right. So weapons like guns, right? Like um, uh, you can use weapons at war, you can use weapons. It could be guns, it could be knives, and any, those are weapons, right? any type of tool that you can do harm to another person. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a gun or a knife. Um, if you need to defend yourself, for example, even, um, even a, a pole can be a weapon, right? Anything that you can use to hurt somebody else, that's a weapon, un arma. And how do you pronounce contrib contributor? Or contributor. Contributor. That's right. Contributor. Or contributor. Thank you. Right. Nice. All righty. So remember to always continue practicing your reading skills that is super important que sigamos practicando reading skills para que no se nos pierda la fluidez say it out loud repeat it out loud and try to read out loud if you don't have someone that you can have a conversation with or that you can talk to regularly try to read out loud that is also super great practice to improve your fluency and improve your vocabulary so congratulations again on finishing your uh, module. I think that is awesome. I don't know if I will see you for the next module, but I wish you the best of luck and have a good vacation while you wait for the next module. It was super nice meeting you and you did great. So um, hope that it all goes well for you. It was nice meeting you all. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Teacher, thank you for all. You are a very good teacher. Yes, you are a very good teacher. Nice to meet you. Excellent teacher.
Thank you. Have a super happy weekend, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Thanks. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.